We've got our moving lights here. Now you might recall when I was talking about moving lights and cues, we had our moving lights and uh, what we did with them was these two lights here, we had them go to one side of the stage and then the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the information from those cues back into the, pro the programmer so that I can record them into a palette. Okay, so uh, let's find out what cue it was. Uh, here we go, it was in fact Q13. So if you have a look at the stage, you can see that our two lights are, uh, our two lights are spotted up and they're pointing at um, the stage. Um, a whole bunch of other lights are, are running as well, but we only want to grab uh, 103 and 104. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load uh, 103 and 104 from that queue back into the programmer. We want to load uh, from the main queue list. It's Q13. There they are. Look at that. So those two lights are now pointed at the stage and they're pointing there because of all of the information in the programmer. I want to record that as my position palette. So just like before, I would on the hardware I would type record. This time I need to change to position and then I need to hit whichever position I'm going to allocate it to. I'll just allocate it to position one. All right, so it's recorded the deltas to position one and you can tell on the screen that it's done it because here it actually says position one. So it's delta position one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load uh, their position from Q14. So I'll do it again. Load 14, enter. It's moved uh, the uh, position of those two lights to the other side of the stage and I'll record that into position two. So record and the second position. So that was literally just hitting two buttons then. And it's recorded the deltas. Now there are deltas on a few different things on the screen here. There's deltas on the levels, there's deltas on 61, it must have been doing something. And there's deltas on the position. Now because this position page can only record position and lens information, the only stuff that actually just got recorded when I did that was the position and any lens information that happened to have been running at the same time. So it's noted the uh, focus position and it's noted the iris position as well as part of that recording process, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so now here we have, I'll just release all of that information. If we have a look at the stage, what I can do is I can grab 103 and 104 and put them in a full and so you can see them there on the stage. And just by hitting my position palette, I can drop them into the positions that I need them to be. Okay, and so if you have a look at the console, all I'm doing there is I'm just hitting um, the different position and moving it to and fro. Or if you want to look at the screen, um, all I'm doing there is I'm uh, hitting the two different um, uh, buttons there.